were brought into this ministry for a purpose. You just didn't make up your mind and say, Oh, I'm going to go to Power Church. Well, I'm going to give my life to Christ. No, everything was God's doing. You didn't want to give your life to Christ. God moved upon you. It says nobody can be drawn to the Father except through, or nobody can be drawn to Jesus except by the Father. You can't. It's not you. Your flesh doesn't want to. Everything that God creates has a purpose. Howbeit for this cause I obtained mercy, that in me first, that in me first, Jesus Christ might show forth all long suffering for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. There's people that are waiting to hear your testimony. There are people that are going through stuff that you've gone through and you've overcome it by the grace of God that need to hear your story. There's people right now that are going through exactly what you went through. Broken marriages. God has put a lot of broken marriages in our path. Because we've been there and done that. We've thought about the divorce and we've thought about all this. And Praise the Lord that none of that happened. Praise the Lord that we still have a family that's intact. Amen. We got two boys now. They're, they're, I'm confessing they're saved and filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesying because the Bible says that our, our sons and our daughters will prophesy. My boys come up here and, and sit up here. Josiah is extremely loud. You know, but he, y'all know that song that we sing, um, Your Grace is Enough? It says, Remember your people, remember it. Well, if you play that song in front of Josiah, he starts to go, <laughs> He's just one. But the Bible says that out of the mouths of babes is perfected praise. Amen. And we're up here trying to sing on, on you know on the right note and hit the right pitch all the time, you know, and God's just waiting for a little kid to just rise up. You know what? Just just praise me. You know, just just worship me. I don't care what you sound like. I'm interested in your heart. I'm not interested in your vocal cords, how you sound. Hello, God has angels all around him that sing in key all the time. <laughs> he wants to hear you. He wants to hear you and all the cracks and all the flat notes and all the sharp notes and I'll pray you, Lord. Oh. But is it coming from your heart? That's what he wants. Worship him in spirit. And in truth, not in the right key and not in the right pattern. And oh, you have to do it this way. Oh, you got to do it that way. No, let, let out of your, the Bible says that out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. We got to be thankful for the things that God has done in our life. You got to fill yourself up with, with the word of God and realize everything that he's done for you. The promises that he has for you. The destiny that he has in store for you. And oh God, I praise you. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you've never left me nor abandoned me, Lord. I thank you for your promises are yes and amen. I thank you for the process that you're taking me through. Because greater things are still to be done in this city. Greater things are still to be done in me. Greater things, Lord. We got to be thankful. Don't you understand the price of your salvation? Do you understand the price of you? Do you understand how hungry these people were when Jesus walked the when Jesus walked the earth? A woman with an issue of blood for 12 years. 12 years. She was kicked out of the church, kicked out by society, kicked out by family, kicked out by friends. She was an outcast. Nobody cared about her. 12 years being ignored by society. But she heard something one time. She heard about this Jesus, this loving Jesus, this forgiving Jesus, this merciful Savior. And she didn't wait to go to a church service. She didn't wait to go to catechism. She didn't wait for none of that. She didn't wait for a revival meeting. The revival was there. Jesus was there. She wasn't going to wait for anybody. Um, excuse me. I know you've been in that condition for 12 long years. But, you know, Jesus is here. Would you, you know, you want to come with me? No, she said, hey, this is my chance. This is my opportunity. If anybody can heal me, it's got to be this man because he's done it with, with somebody else. Surely he can do it for me. Boy, I ain't waiting no more. And she's pushing through people and pushing through all these obstacles because she's got to get to Jesus. 
We got to get to Jesus. We got to get to Jesus. We don't got to get to church. We got to get to Jesus. We got to get to Jesus again. We got to get to where we're in love with Jesus again. In Revelation it says you, you've lost your love. You've forsaken your first love. I dare you to examine yourself and say, why do I come to church? Am I just here just to be here? Why do I come to church? Am I glad? Am I, am I just, Lord, you know what? You're so good. Look at, look at how I am. You see all my weakness. You see my failures. You see, God, everything that I haven't done. You see every time that I've had a chance to testify to somebody and I've gone the other way because I've been afraid. God, you've seen everything and yet you still love me. You still accept me. You still call me your own. Isn't that an amazing God? That's why the Bible, well, that's why that song says, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Now, those people, going back to Joseph, those people were there to push him to save much people alive. Those, those people that, that are against you right now, that are causing you, you know, to get gray hairs, those people that are causing you to lose hair, Those people that are causing you not to sleep, you know, because you're so aggravated with them and in, in the middle of the night you can't even go to sleep peaceably because you're just thinking about them. Oh my God, I can't believe they said something. <laughs> <laughs> Do I hear a witness? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> That's right. God's using those people. You say, Lord, remove these people. When are you going to get this, you know, dog off me <laughs> and God says no they're there to push you to where you're going <laughs> till you pass the test you meant evil against me but God <laughs> but God everybody say but God, but God. say it again but God God. See, everything that you're going through, you think it's come to bring you down to just, oh God, I'm going to fall into the depression. God, I'm going to, God, no, no depression. It's meant to build you up. Amen. You remember when Peter said, Lord, no, no, Lord, everybody's going to forsake you. No, but not me. I'm the, I'm the strong one. I'm going to stand by you, Lord. I'm going to do, Lord. And Jesus says, Simon. out. <laughs> Let me tell you what's going to happen. Satan has desired to sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee that your faith fail not. And then it says, and when you are converted, strengthen your brethren. You see, you and I are examples. We go through things so that so that when we, we run into somebody else that's going through a hard time, we're able to strengthen them. We're able to minister unto them grace because we've been there. God has prayed for us. Jesus, right now, it says that He ever lives to make intercession for us. He's praying that our faith fail not. 